Hello there, I'm Adam Paul Morgan. Thank you for clicking on. As you can probably guess from the title of this video, this is a short look at and review of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Or as I call it, Call of Duty 2016. Yes, another year has passed and another Call of Duty game is added to the franchise list. But once again, it's a futuristic one, as you can probably guess, um, which is the fourth one in the series to be futuristic, and I'm getting a little bored of it now. At the start of the game, we do get a note from the studio, in general, basically saying, we've worked really hard on this game, and we want you to enjoy it and have fun. Which is what video games is all about, and I can understand why the studio would want to tell people to have fun with this game. But I was looking closely and DLC, DLC, DLC. They were really pushing DLC at launch with this game, I've noticed, compared to some of the other games in the franchise. Yes, they have done it, but not as big as this one. In other words, you've just spent a lot of money on the game. But if you want everything included in the game, you've got to cough up more of your money. Not good. With the next generation version of the game, this is being played on the Xbox One, you do get the full 1080p and 60 frames per second yada yada that you come to get these days from video games. Yes, it does include a single player campaign, which um, I've played a number of the missions. I can't remember a thing about them. I honestly can't. Um, yes, it looked good, it played well, fantastic, etc. But the story and the characters, um, Forgettable, instantly forgettable. They generally are forgettable. Yes, and there is also the multiplayer in Call of Duty. Um, online, as normal, um, shooter shooty, you on your own or as a team against a lot of other people on their own or as a team. Shooty shooty, blowy uppy. Same old, same old. A new feature which I found enjoyable in the multiplayer was the underwater. A number of the modes have returned from previous games, including my personal favourite, Kill Confirmed, and also Domination. I quite like that one because it's an easy way to get some score points without having to go around and shooty shooty everyone. But there is also a mode where there's a robot. Now, one team have to escort this robot to one part of the map. The other team have to stop the other team from doing that by shooty shooty the robot and the other team players. I've played this mode a couple of times. I've got to be honest, it's a bit ambitious for what it is. It's very short. There is two halves to that actual game where you swap over and the other team will be shooty shooty the robot now swaps over and shooty shooty the other team that are trying to shooty shoot the robot. But there's not enough time, I feel, in these that particular mode for Shooty Shooty. At the end of each multiplayer game, there is also a winner's circle, which highlights which players have scored the most points. And as you can see in this little clip, you can see me on the left there. Zombie mode, zombie mode was back. I played a couple of the zombie modes. It was fun, but not as fun as some of the previous zombies in the past that we've had. Call of Duty Black Ops, the original Black Ops game, Call of Duty, is better than this. It really is. Um, the single player campaign mode, I think I found the multiplayer mode much more enjoyable as well. And the zombie mode, I just didn't find this game as enjoyable as Call of Duty Black Ops. Now I know with Call of Duty, everyone has their favourite Call of Duty game. Mine was the original Black Ops. I know a lot of people say it was Modern Warfare 2. About this particular game, yes it's fun, it looks good, it plays well, it's bright, it does all that 50 frames and all that, 60 frames per second I should say. But I don't think it's there, I don't think it's got the soul as some of the previous Call of Duty games. Um, I'm not sure if it's this they bang one out every year, as I say, this is Call of Duty 2016, and next year they're going to bring something uh, out. It could be Advanced Warfare 2, it could be Modern Warfare 4. We don't know. I just hope they, for the next one, get away from this futuristic theme that have been going on for the past couple of games. It's fun, but now it's getting a bit old. 
Now, for those games, I think they should go back to the original, sort of World War II, modern warfare, World at War style. Because they were more fun. Um, but really, if you were going to buy this, you've probably already bought it already. All the hardcore shooter multiplayers that are out there. And by God, there's some good players out there, for, particularly for the system that I was playing it on. On day one, somebody was already at level 41, and I'd only just put the disc in and installed it and started playing. This was day one. So there are some good players out there. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out some of my other video reviews for video games. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, fun but forgettable. If you feel the same as me or disagree with me and you think it, this is your new favorite Call of Duty game in the series or what have you, leave a comment below. I'd like to check them out and I'd like to see what other people around the world think of these particular games. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Adam Paul Morgan, and to our bit.